millions of people in the U.S. are left without power each year. Accidents happen, but a team at Sandia is pioneering new ways to keep people connected to the grid. Leveraging advanced signal processing and machine learning, they've created a prototype protection device capable of detecting faults 10 times faster than today's modern tools. We are proposing a new technology for protecting our power grid that will change the paradigm for how we do distribution system protection. Fast protection has existed for years on the transmission side where we can detect and remove faults in milliseconds, but there is no comparable technology on the distribution system or for microgrids. Traveling wave protection on the transmission system includes putting relays on both sides of the transmission line, but this is not scalable for distribution systems with multiple lines and loads and taps throughout the system. Fast protection using traveling waves is very promising for distribution systems and microgrid. The trolling waves are generated right when the conductive elements touch each other. And then we have these trolling waves propagating through the system at almost the speed of light. As they move through, they suffer from distortion and attenuation, and that is going to change the frequency spectrum a little bit. The beauty of this approach is that we can capture the trolling waves using equipment that measures at a very, at a very high sampling rate and then we can try to match these frequency signatures with the fault location. In order to do this, we run a signal processing tool and a machine learning model on a microcontroller, and we use that to find the fault location. These models are trained on thousands of simulations. The machine learning and signal processing algorithms must be embedded into the proper microcontroller that shall meet the requirements uh, in terms of fast sampling rates, processing speed and memory size. The way this prototype works is by monitoring the grid by sampling the signals at a rate of 1 million samples per second, which means that we have in between samples 1 microseconds to perform all the DSP algorithms in order to perform the fault location. The fault location takes place in microseconds, which means that we can detect and locate the fault in less than 2 milliseconds, which is fast compared to nowadays technology available in the market. The Relay's microcontroller is placed on a custom printed circuit board that interfaces between commercially available voltage and current sensors and our custom hardware implementation. We have designed analog signal processing circuitry prior to the microcontroller's analog to digital converter inputs that provides optimal signal to noise ratio and signal integrity for the fault's measured traveling wave. The hardware is designed to capture only the traveling wave fault's high frequency content. There is analog filtering of the sensed waveforms to block any higher frequency electromagnetic and radio frequency interference, reducing false detection and signal errors caused by these external noise sources. Our hardware solution connects directly onto the distribution line through high accuracy voltage and current sensors, continuously monitoring the bus for faults and disturbances. The fault detection relay's operation is then monitored through a USB communications interface, providing the end user or host controller with feedback as it pertains to detected fault conditions. Block Energy operates a microgrid test bed on Kirtland Air Force Base. It's been in service for over four years in partnership with the Air Force and Sandia National Labs through a cooperative research and development agreement. PV and energy storage are distributed throughout the microgrid, serving building loads on base. The testbed is configured in such a way that we can conduct fault detection and protection tests on the system without disturbing load delivery to the buildings. The central energy park is connected remotely to our management system so that we can monitor and control it wherever we are. This is the setup where we have validated the effectiveness of our fault detection methods. We can run actual fault events through the fault emulator device. This allows us to introduce various fault conditions on the testbed. When the relay is running, we sample a million values per second on three channels simultaneously. And we see some of them being updated on a screen in real time. As it was mentioned before, the relay triggers on the trolling wave in about two milliseconds when a fault occurs. Data around the trigger time is captured and sent to the laptop through serial communication. Our algorithm is able to determine the location of the fault and display that to the user. And the results are staggering decreasing detection and fault location time by tenfold. With the path of commercialization on the horizon, this is the culmination of over three years of hard work, resulting in one of the greatest advancements on distribution systems and microgrid protection.